My name is Justin Ide and I am a filmmaker. Uh, what got me started creating my art was uh, being an introverted seven-year-old and just locking myself in my uh, bedroom or in the living room when my parents were gone. And it was Top Gun and like the Disney Robin Hood that got me into filmmaking. Um, my dad was hoping I was going to be a pilot, but that wasn't the case <laughs> at all. Well, there's two ways that the work is currently created. I work independently and I do a lot of freelance work and that's just all on me and what I have and what I can do. But then there's the kind of narrative feature side where I've done a couple projects right now and my wife and I are currently writing a film called Tess, uh, which really formed the idea form about this uh, project maybe five years ago or so. So we've been slowly chugging away and slowly getting the screenplay done. And now we're just uh, finding crew and working with producers I've worked with for the last 10 years. Uh, so it's a very collaborative thing. At the beginning of all the projects I do, at least all the narrative things, I always put a collaboration picture instead of my name. Because I don't like seeing artists' name at the beginning of movies, maybe at the end. But it's, it's all about what everybody brings to the movie, not just what comes from the people that started the, the seed. My favorite part about what I do, um, writing the screenplay is great, shooting it is great, but I have the most fun editing it because there's so many different ways it can be cut together and the movie can really change with the editing. So editing is probably the most fun. It takes me the, long, uh, the longest time to do the editing though, maybe six or eight months for a feature when it should have been done eight months ago. But it's, it's, it's my favorite part, editing. Uh, my personal goal for my career is just to keep uh, creating, uh, no matter what the circumstance is. I mean, it's not about making a name or really getting a crazy amount of exposure. It's just keep making art, no matter, no matter what. In my case, film. I guess since I'm uh, first up showing some films, I uh, thought I'd introduce them to you. Uh, the very first thing is called The Man in the Booth. Uh, I made this in 2002, or 2012, I should say. Uh, right when uh, theaters nationwide were making the conversion from 35 millimeter film to digital cinema. So that's the very first thing that I have for you. All right. I started training when I was a little kid. I was a good friend of mine when I lived in Way Park, Minnesota. His name was Bob Morozik, and I found out he ran a, uh, he was a projectionist at the drive-in, which was probably about 10 blocks away from where we lived. And I always was fascinated by the movies all my life. I had a little wind-up 8mm camera that I used to work with, but working with this bigger film called 35mm was quite the treat. And that was in the uh, latter part of the 60s. I can uh, remember learning how to make changeovers on True Grit, the original one with uh, John Wayne, Walt Disney's Love Bug, and Swiss Family Robinson. I was probably only about seven and eight years old at the time that I started training in, and, and I was able to turn tear down a projector by the time I was about 14, 15 years old, thanks to Bob. That just kind of turned into a career from there. Here I am 40 some years later. Oh, some of the ones that I can remember off the top of my head that are no longer even probably in existence anymore. I, the cloud driving is where I got my start. Uh, that was in Way Park. 10 High Drive-In, which was on Highway 10. The Hayes Theater, Paramount, which was also a big grand movie theater, which is an art performing arts center now in St. Cloud. From the Cooper Theater in St. Louis Park, worked some of the theaters up in Brainerd, uh, half the drive-ins that were in existence in the metro area here, the Skyway downtown, 
the Harmar, the Southdale. It was quite the adventure. Even even got to run some 35 millimeter porn. <laughs> it was an exciting career working all the whole vast from uh, 35 millimeter to 70 millimeter. Had big fascination with the 70 millimeter. I thought that was just quite the format to see on these uh, huge uh, screens that were in so the industry went to these huge screens and then they went back to these small small screens then they went back to the big you know mega monster ultra screens but uh, they didn't really bring that format back again which I thought would have been a, a great deal for them to do. My name is Justin Ide and I'm a raw artist.